Welcome to my channel, my name's Jared. This is another Sunday update video. I also post silent build videos on most Wednesdays and Fridays, so be sure to check those out as well. Today we're gonna to talk about the Land Cruiser and the Model T. Um, so, I wasn't able to get a, a video out this past Friday. That's when I would have normally had the latest video for the Land Cruiser. Um, but I, I haven't had a chance to finish up this quarter panel, uh, partly due to the holidays, um, and also just because it's kind of a time-consuming process. But um, I am making good progress. I've got the quarter panel on, uh, and you can see I've got both welders here. I've got my MIG welder and my TIG welder. Um, and like I mentioned before, I use the TIG welder along this whole um, seam because I can't access the back side of that weld to clean it and to protect it and I wanted to have the cleanest weld possible but then in other areas like in this side this section here uh, I just used the uh, the TIG welder or the MIG welder which is much faster uh, and I'm going to be pulling this upper panel out and then I'll be able to clean up the back side of that weld uh, and I'm going to be coating everything with the uh, weld through primer before I put that inner fender well in. So um, so that's all looking good. Uh, this is coming out pretty good so far. I've got a little bit more grinding to do and I haven't actually welded this panel to the support beam yet so I've still got some of these screws in here. I'll have to weld that in from the back. Um, but it's looking good. I'm happy with the way it's coming out. Um, yeah, so, so that's all good for the Land Cruiser. Hopefully, um, well, I'm pretty sure that that video will be out next week. I don't know if I'll have two videos next week or not. Again, the holidays are slowing things down. Um, but also, I'm waiting on a lot of parts. Uh, I'm still waiting on the windshield for the 356. And now the Model T, we'll talk about that. I'm waiting on stuff for that. So, um, things have been a little bit slow getting the parts I need and then also having the time to do the work. But um, I'll have at least one video out next week, which will be this one. Uh, and then possibly two. We'll see how it goes. But, uh, okay, so we'll talk about the Model T. Oh, and look who it is. Walter! What's up, buddy? What's up, Walter? Say hi. People have been asking about Walter, and yeah, he's doing fine. It's just been a little bit cold here, so he doesn't come out as much uh, as he used to. Walter! Um, also, real quick, this is the quarter panel that I took off of the Land Cruiser. And I think I'm probably, I still have, I have, to, I have to take some parts off of this still. Um, there are some supports here that I'm gonna need to take off and put on the new fender well. And I may use this piece here, I may cut this off and use this because this curve is correct and the one that's on there is really bad. Uh, but so basically I'm gonna be using that for parts. Um, but okay, so on to the Model T. So if you saw my last build video on this, you would have seen um, that I did a lot of work here on the engine bay. I'm very happy with the way that it came out. I think it looks really great. I'm really happy with these wires. I love I love the colors and the type. This is like a it's like a fabric wrapped wire. It's so cool. It's very very old cool and like period correct. I really like it. Um, but so I, I I like the way this came out. Um, some people have asked me about the coils. And so you can see here, there are four separate coil boxes. Um, and when they slide into this box, they make contact on the bottom, and then they make contact in two places on the back. And so there's a coil box for each cylinder. So on the front of the engine, there's the timer, which is very similar to a distributor, and that's gonna trigger the coils, and then it's gonna send a signal here to the top of the coil boxes and then the uh, spark plug wires come out of the bottom leads on these coil boxes to each of the cylinders and then you may have seen that giant magneto on the engine um, between that magneto and these coils you can run the car with no battery it's really amazing I mean you know a motorcycle does the same thing with a tiny little uh, magneto and a tiny little coil um, but obviously this was probably pretty early on in that technology. But it's just really amazing to see how simple it is, but how, you know, like a coil now is a tiny little 
device that's cheap and easy to, you know, it's like a very simple thing, but back then it was this big thing. And you actually, you have to adjust those coils. Hopefully those have already, hopefully those are gonna work. Um, I bought that set of coils as a rebuilt set and they say they've already been adjusted because you kind of need like a this little machine, this little metering machine to adjust them properly. And you adjust them by bending a little tab on them. So it's not all that precise, um, but hopefully they're gonna work okay. Um, but yeah, so I got the engine bay done. Um, I also, uh, I just got the new valves and springs and everything for the engine for the Model T. So I dropped those off at the machine shop yesterday. Um, but with the holidays, you know, it's gonna be probably another week, maybe two before I get the engine back. Walter. It's very windy here. I don't think Walter likes it. Uh, but it's probably gonna be at least a week, maybe two, uh, until I get the engine back. Uh, and then I'll be able to finish cleaning it up, paint it, put it back together, and then get ready to put it back in the car. So I was hoping to have it assembled by now and ready to go in the car, but it's gonna be a, a little while longer, unfortunately. But anyway, um, I am making progress on that as well. Um, and then, you know, the 356, like I mentioned in my last update video, I did order a different windshield from a different supplier, uh, and I should be getting it soon. So I think the only delay on that one now is the holidays. Um, but then as soon as I get that, then I'll get started um, putting the glass in the car, and then I'll be making progress on that one again. Um, but okay, so I think that's about it. So a pretty short update video for this week, but I am making progress on everything, and like I said, They'll, at the very least, there'll be a video on this Land Cruiser next week, and then possibly uh, there'll be a video on this and maybe something else, maybe the, the Beetle or maybe even the 356. Um, but anyway, so that's it for this week, guys. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing.